Burp, 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 burp. Uh, I got to get rid of this banner. Comments. <laughs> I'm a near whole coiner. You know, near was listed on F. It was listed on KuCoin, then FTX, and then it just recently got listed on on uh, Coinbase. I've been buying a little. I've been buying some of that. <laughs> I'm only nearly two million Swiftcoin beyond Rob. Hey, here's the great thing: if you buy it today or whenever it goes live on the exchanges, you'll be ahead of me. So yeah, yeah, two, three, five. It's <laughs> That's the bummer of a part. But don't worry. There'll be, there'll be plenty of new crypto YouTubers. There'll also be a bunch of ones that'll just go away. That should be good. Ah. <laughs> Five-year rug pull. Yeah. Sorry, Beardy. I had, to, I had to throw in that validator comment about EOS. I still own EOS, though. Uh, 12, <laughs> 12 months in rug pull. Hey, David's got a point. Here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to give anybody disillusions about uh, where I'm going here. So when that 12 months comes up on the, well, it depends on what the price is, but you better believe that uh, I will be taking out my initial investment and probably a 2X because I think in a, in a year's time, we'll probably do pretty well. Who knows? I could be wrong. And uh, that's what's going to happen. And also I want you to notice that, uh, you know, when I, when I said like, you know, it's, it's like half of the cost of what I, what I bought into for the private sale. That's okay. Do you see me flipping out and being ticked off about it? No, because I follow, I know, I know. I know. I don't want to do it either, but I follow the rules. And the rules are, I don't invest more than I can afford to lose. It's all gone. Everything's a scam. I don't leave any exchanges. I don't use leverage. I take profits along the way. Those are the rules that I live by. You don't have to live by them. Those just really help me out a lot. And that's it. All right. Good question. CPI tomorrow, what do we think? I think lower than, lower than what we had in the last month. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if they get some serious punches, that would be very big. And it's true. And Mr. Wolf is right. They need sponsors. And I can't say anything, but just know that uh, one of the founders used to work at Adidas in the higher up position. I think it was Adidas. It wasn't Nike. No. So I'm just saying. Hmm. <laughs> what surprised the other persons know about this? Man is chilling and making dough staking. Z Gaming, this is a good coin to get a sweat coin. It's risky. Everything's risky. That's all I can tell you. Pump the likes. Yeah, you know what, Dimitar, Sweatcoin and Apple Watch. Um, friend of the show, DJ Crypto. He, that's what he does. He has them on his Apple Watch. He said it's better than on the phone. I was like, really? Okay. There was a glitch with the app, though, uh, about a week ago, and they, they pulled in an upgrade like two or three days ago. So uh, maybe I'll try it. Well, first I have to get an Apple Watch, so I don't know. Wendell Taco. Whew. Let's talk about sharding. All right. Rob has lots of hand gestures when he's talking. <laughs> it's true. I, all of a sudden, I, be, I become Italian when I start talking about Sweatcoin. First Coast Crypto has a good question. Uh, can we download with VPN to get around the non-US issue? I have no idea how that works. Maybe you could do that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you should call it Calories Coin. I got to tell you, I've... Behind the scenes, I get a lot of emails and DMs from people who just thank me, just like, hey, I got some sweat coin, but it really just helps me to get off my get off my A. That's pretty much it. Shilling. Sweaty sharding. FUD agents. <laughs> Trust me. I've paid my fair share. I've been through an audit zoo, so don't ever just pay your taxes. You don't never want to go through an audit. They suck. Master blasters. Anyone use MX? I don't even know what it is, honestly. I just saw it on, and again, this, uh, the exchange uh, by transaction volume, uh, it's called Nomics, N-O-M-I-C-S dot com. I linked in the description so you can verify all this stuff. But it was interesting. I Like OKX, I was like, well, it's the second biggest. All right. See, this is me. I don't really know these things. <laughs> then I put... Dan, how do I put a Ada in touch with you? Just have him tweet at me. That's the best way. Because then I know it's, it's like a real account. 
and then we go from there. Uh, <laughs> if you if you think James is bullish, you aren't paying attention lately. Yeah, I like James. Ah, Gil's got a great question. So Gil says, what do you think of this new iTrust capital staking? iTrust, love them. They're up, up here. And just so you know, if you sign up with them, there's an affiliate link. So I do get a kickback for that. But if you don't want to use that affiliate link, it's okay. Just go to itrust.com. I think that's what it is. Hold on, I'm sure. No, it's iTrust Capital. See? Use the link. You don't want to go someplace uh, shady. And uh, so the staking issue, just know that. So for, with iTrust, it's a Roth IRA, which means in the U.S. you don't pay capital gains taxes if you uh, take it out after, after the age of 59 and a half. Okay, so we're all aware of what that is. And what would be awesome is if the, the crypto that you have in your Roth IRA, if you could stake that crypto, earn those rewards, get those rewards, and not pay any capital gains tax, which, well, you can right now. It's with uh, Polkadot. And uh, the staking is pretty attractive. However, there are a couple things you need to know. First of all, it's risky. And they, they say it right in terms and conditions. I did a whole video on this one. I need to, I'll have to find it. I, you know, I really should repost it. And just so you know that you pay, so let's say you, you, you stake it for a year and you get 100 polka dot, whatever, right? That's great. You didn't do anything. That's cool. And that just goes into your Roth IRA. You don't have to pay capital gains tax. But just know that iTrust is going to take 20% of that for them because that's the cost. Now, there used to be a cost for iTrust Capital. You had to pay, I think it was $24.99 per month. They waived all that. They make funds through trading. If you want to trade within your Roth IRA, which is, again, tax-free, then they're going to take 20% from you for the staking rewards. For me personally, I'm like, well, I didn't do anything, so why not? And I don't have to pay any capital gains tax. And what's capital gains tax? Well, short-term capital gains tax is, depending on your tax bracket, could be... Uh, gosh, 15%, or it could be up to 33%, 38%, 42%. That's short-term. In long-term capital gains, it's 20% plus the state that you live in. So 20% to me, I'm like, eh, I would have lost it anyhow, and I don't do anything, so sure. Eden says, hey, Rob, how's it going? What's this pump about? Aren't we supposed to be fearful for the upcoming news? Everybody's fearful. I'm fearful. But I just, I don't know if you call the DCA show, but... James is kind of bullish, Ben's kind of bearish, and I'm kind of bearish middle-ish. And uh, like Ben's like, I'm not touching altcoins. James is like, I'm going in. And uh, me, I'm in the middle. I'm going, well, I'm not going to dollar cost average as much as I used to. I'm still going to buy Bitcoin and some altcoins. And I'm just going to kick back and wait and see. I'm waiting for 2023 to really, really get in. But I'm kind of stacking cash on the sidelines. What's great, though, is that, you know, you have, I have residual income from the uh, properties, the Airbnbs. So I just sit around for it. I don't know what's going to happen. If I'm wrong, well, I just take a little haircut and get back in. If I'm right, well, I get some more cheap stuff. It doesn't matter. Um, that's what I'm. Nick says, Rob, do you DCAing or waiting? Nope. Nick, I am still DCAing every day. Even the day that we had that 10% pump, I still DCA. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So Sweatcoin, did you notice the lockup? I can't, I can't send any Sweatcoin because of my protection because of a lot of scams. Yeah, so they, they this was a couple of days ago. Sweatcoin, they stopped withdrawals, which, okay. Uh, or actually it was transferring between people, so you couldn't do it. But I believe in 21 hours when everything gets listed, then you'll be able to do whatever you want to it. But just be aware. Uh, again, what's the rules? Everything's a scam. So if you're like, hmm, I don't know about this, this link, or I don't know about this person, They're, they told me that if I send them 10 sweat coins, I will get a million sweat coins. Maybe it's not legit. So just be aware that scammers are everywhere and they want what you got. It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep and go from there. Thoughts on Avalanche? Not much, probably, probably do pretty well. I'm just not for sure. I still hold a little bit. We shut down our uh, Avalanche uh, staking pool. And we're just going to focus on Cardano. That's it. Not that I say they're anything bad. It's just, just, uh, just like Cardano more and more. That's all. Yeah, we need clarity in regards of regulation. I agree. <laughs> Biola, she says, thanks for turning me into sweat coins. I will just say this. I'm glad everybody got some free sweat coins because that was the whole thing. You download the app, free. 
You walk around, probably do that. Get some free sweat coins, that's it. Now past this, if you wanna invest into it, that's on you. Super risky stuff, right? This could go to zero tomorrow. I don't know, it's crypto. But uh, I personally think it's gonna do pretty well, but that's just me, not financial advice. I met James the face of it. James is like six, seven. I don't know if everybody knew that. So uh, probably taller than me. Uh, near and soul, definitely one of these boys gonna blow the fuck. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, here we go. So Umar says the tokenomics of Sweatcoin is pure Ponzi. DFIT is the oldest move to earn with only 50 million total in max flat. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about. Actually, I'm just going to direct you to the deep dive because you have to understand something that the whole economics of Sweatcoin, they've been around for years already. They've been around for three, four years, about three and a half years. And they were monetizing the whole platform. Let me ask you a question. When you watch this video, did you just come through or did you have to watch an ad? Most of you had to watch an ad, unless you had a blocker on or unless you are on premium. So that's what Sweatcoin did for like three, four years. Now they have all these engagements. They have all these people that they have. It's okay, we're gonna do it like that. We're also gonna roll out an exchange. We're also gonna roll out some NFTs later, which you don't have to buy if you don't want to. And uh, there's a lot of different economics of the platform itself. So to say it's a, it's a pure Ponzi, I don't think it is, but again, who knows? I'll just put my two cents in, watch the deep dive. Uh, it's a good question. If a company buys out Voyager, is it probable that they will give us all our crypto? The only thing that it makes sense in my brain as to why a Binance, uh, why a bank, the, not bank the future, why like an OKX or, or a Robinhood, I don't know, or FTX, why they would buy them is for customer acquisition. So if you buy them for customer acquisition, and you want these customers to be happy, what are you gonna do? Like, hey, sorry, we're taking all your crypto, but still use this Voyager product. That would make no sense. I think the only way it makes sense is they say, we bought out Voyager, it's gonna continue on its, on its merry way. Maybe we put new management in, maybe we don't, maybe we do whatever else they wanna do. And uh, this is the change that we're gonna do. We're gonna make it more accessible. We're gonna make it more transparent, which is what they should have done in the first place. You know, it is a public company. And we're gonna go from there. Now the question is, would you use it? That's the big question. I like the interface. I just didn't like the fact that they uh, became insolvent. So that's that. Now oh, that hurts, you look tired. I feel pretty good today. Just so you know, uh, in the next two, three weeks, we did that, uh, we build that charity obstacle course for kids here in El Paso. So I'll be, uh, the videos will probably be a little later as I have to go to help other guys with the construction and put everything together and do the marketing. So just like we did in April, we do it twice a year. No, Nick, I, no. Uh, right, respect to phone back. No. Yeah, we did a whew, tough days yesterday. <laughs> I trust there's too many fees. I don't know if it's that or not much. I mean, 1% for a trading fee. There's no monthly fees. I mean, come on. Earn your 12% dot. I mean, okay, you can earn your 12% dot, uh, but you gotta pay capital gains tax unless it's in a it's in some kind of IRA. Taysu says, I don't trust. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> I would be on that. That'd be funny. DCA now, I trust no one. It's not a bad, it's a pretty good way to live life, actually. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Rob, in healthcare, as you were before, but you missed No, I do not. I used to work 7P to 7A in uh, med surgeon oncology. Not my, uh, it sucked. And then I went to uh, dialysis. Much easier, much easier. Just put these really fat needles into people and dialyze them for three, three and a half, four hours. Not too bad. ER, a uh, pretty good one. Burn units, very tough. Uh, again, 7P to 7A. And then ICU. But yeah, I like I like this life a little better. Make videos, talk to you guys, deal with my properties, do the Amazon business, online education platform for nurses. Yeah, it's not too bad. What? Robinhood actually has some good alts now and wallets. Everyone hates them, but the cash at least FDA. You got a point. 
Let's see if uh, let's see if Sam Bakeman Fried buys them out. Thank you. <laughs> Sam Fried Tan sent you five back. <laughs> I'm a new mod. Oh yeah, we just gave those out yesterday. Huh? Drew, hey Rob from ATB Bitboy. Hey, how's it going? All around the block, that's what it is. Hey Drew, how's it going? Uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. How can I get tomato coin? Uh, well, I did an airdrop to everybody in the D News Cardano stake pool. So you should have gotten one if you're a staker. Uh, if not, if you want to find out, link in the description. Check out D News stake pool. Ah, great question. Crypto golfer, when Charles? I think it's next week. I want to say the 23rd. I'm not for sure. So I don't know. We'll see when it comes on. I'm excited. I want to talk to him about the upgrade, the dApps that are being built, what the next step is, and also about medicine and healthcare and what he's looking to go into as far as uh, a stem cell and hyperbaric oxygen chamber and things like that. That would be interesting. <laughs> is anyone seeing money? You know, money, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, six, seven, roughly. Uh, what do you think about the new push for UFO disclosures? If they're not, uh, if it's not all a fraud, we'll see. Remember, it's all about misdirection. I don't want to go deep in that. Brave browser blocks at all. Premium is the best. I have premium too for, for YouTube. Keith, that's not true. Sweatcoin is another data mining operation. I delete it because they won't allow it to work unless they can track you all the time. So look, even their terms and conditions, which I took a look at, and even when I had Oleg on, and I asked him that specific question, Oleg, are you guys doing data mining? Because that will be a pretty lucrative business. And I don't know about you, but I never got my check from Facebook as they sold it to all the advertisers. And he goes, no, we don't do that. We believe the data is yours. And actually, they're going to they're gonna allow you to monetize your data to sell to insurance companies, to sell to education platforms, whatever else it is that you want to do with your data of how much you walk. So... But that'll be in, that's like the fourth phase they talked about. <laughs> James has to be five, six. I don't think he's that short. Uh, what are your thoughts on Adam? Juno Osmos. Don't, not the other two, but Adam. I have bought a fair amount in the past. And I still hold on to it. Things to do pretty well. Uh, let's see. Adios, Des. Des, thanks for coming by. And I think that's it. The mat. Uh. <laughs> yes, that's true. And 4-8, kids pool behind them. Ceiling is very low. It's all trickery. Uh. Mr. Wolf, I went to New York a few days after 9 11. Smell sling, but what an awful, awful day. Thank you, Yinka. I appreciate it. Thoughts on XRP? Every time I turn around, I see an article about how XRP and the lawsuit is, uh, is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. I just wish it would come to an end. And I, I got to tell you, if you're not a fan of Ripple, it's okay, but you should be cheering for them because that's going to have repercussions uh, throughout. If SEC not loses, but loses ground in that uh, lawsuit, expect them to cede a lot of power to the CFTC because it didn't work out. <sighs> Banana hammock. Ah, that's a good question. Vicky. Uh, Vicky, this is called StreamYard. S-T-R-E-A-M-Y-A-R-D. And I use a very nice green screen. I'm in my mom's basement, and I always have these things. Sometimes I use an advanced green screen where the fans are running and the dog swims in the pool. Sometimes not. Yeah, I just saw Larson just put out a video where he says, uh, I think it was Bitcoin do 100K, but don't buy now. Hawkeye says hi from Dublin. Okay. I don't know what route is. 
Brandon, <laughs> Brandon's got a point. Uh, it's an honest deal with Apple, even if they're paying me. Nothing wrong with that. And I think that's it. Are we crashing? I don't think so. Well, guys, I think uh, <laughs> I think that's it. I still don't believe it's a green screen. Trust me, it's that's what it is. All right, so everybody, that was a pretty good day. Look, a little bullish news today. Everybody's uh, a little bit better, better mood for right now. Remember, bullish sentiment and bearish sentiment goes in waves. And there's going to be bullish days. There's going to be bullish and bearish uh, uh, waves coming about us. But it's okay. Think about the time, the time horizon. And uh, I think things will work out in the long run. If you're trying to get rich in uh, three to six months, I think it's going to be very difficult for you. And that's all I have to say. So I'll be here for a while. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Almost 1,500 people. Really happy uh, that everybody hang out with me for this long. Almost 45 minutes. Well, let's get out of here. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And that's it for today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Have a good day.